Greetings and salutations to another tea time with your good old old friend Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Realm. Anyways, on this particular tea time, I know I've already done at least a few things based on this concept, and I hope you don't mind that I do this video, but this one is going to be about and for stereotypes. Doesn't matter, all stereotypes, doesn't matter. For me, stereotypes are just what they are. I find them to be stupid, ignorant, and created by people who are stupid and ignorant of other people. Yes, albeit I find a lot of them very harmful. Like, mm -hmm, I've seen some older cartoons here on the internet of black men back in the 1940s, you know, that whole thing where they would have Elmer Fudd, he was a really dumb black man on this particular type, particular thing. And yes, I found that particularly offensive. However, watermelon and chicken just doesn't seem to be offensive to me. I mean, I believe it's offensive to everyone who is, and I, yeah, I feel like it's offensive to a lot older set of people who, you know, grew up in that time period where. It wasn't so much slavery, I think. It wasn't really slavery as much as it was just people who were working for, you know, little to nothing being treated unfairly based on their color of their skin. I mean, yes, I believe black, we black people have been harmed and bruised, and I'm thankful for our Luther King for freeing us, but, you know, eventually you have to kind of get out of that whole hopelessness stage where, yes, these stereotypes define you, because, you know, the funny thing is, I like chicken. I like KFC chicken. You know, the funny thing is, so does everybody else. And I've made this point in other videos as well. well and I've had people throw that stuff at me, like, yeah, you're an idiot, you know, you can't, you know, go back to KFC with only game. Hmm, that doesn't sound like a bad idea for dinner. I, it has no effect on me. I guess they think they can throw old stereotypes at me and, oh, I'll be, ooh. No, that doesn't work. Um, there are stereotypes against short people. I happen to be, but I'm not going to tell you how tall I am. Let's just put it this way. The screen lies about my height, okay? Just put it that way. However, I like, I don't understand stereotypes on the basis of, how to put it, I don't want to sound too stupid or ignorant about it myself, because that's how these stereotypes get started, as well as so I, well, I'm not aware of it, so that stereotype can continue, and people just think, oh, well, you know, she's going to do it, and I guess it is something that black people do. So now I know a black person. You know, I also have an issue against stereotypes against younger people, because, albeit, you're right, children do not work a lot. But you know the ironic thing is, um, are you, going, are you guys willing to give us a job? No? Then stick it with the sun, don't shine, my friend. I find that stereotype to be very annoying. Because, I hate to say this, it's not the 60s. Again, it is not the 60s, nor is it the 70s. Get over yourselves, assholes. Part of my language, but I mean that. In some ways. Okay. Now, part of my language, I'm sorry to call people that age those things, even though you are acting like such. No offense, but... I don't like being called a whippersnapper because, um, whoever came up with that word really was an idiot and knew nothing about kids. Because see, the thing is, 
Actually, kids used to work all the time. It was beneficial to our society to have more than one child. It became unofficial when you, know, you got a bunch of old people running around and healthcare had gotten so a little bit better. Not by much. But I find it absolutely ridiculous nowadays as when old people complain as younger people who are accepting a lot of things. You know, we always hear about, oh well, children don't pay bills, well, you won't give us any jobs. And last time I checked, no one can legally hire me until I'm 16. Okay? Well, not me, I guess I'm I'm older than 16. I told you guys that. And I have an issue with that because then no one can fault me on whether I have a job or not. It's not my fault I don't have a job. That's a pretty weak stereotype. I'm sorry to say this, but, you know, I would have a job if you were willing to give me one. But, you know, that's the society we live in. Anyways, next few other stereotypes I like to challenge. Um, old people stereotypes. I understand a lot of times we tend to stereotype old people around you know, white hair and you know they're senile and stuff. Funny thing is, there are old people who happen to fit in that demographic of senile old codgers and you know, there you go, codgers. <laughs> There's other things we can call you too, uh, hags. Thanks. There's, I found out the word F-A-G stands, used to be, uh, about calling old, yeah, it used to be a word for old people. Eh, I don't know. However, I disagree with stereotypes, like, I don't believe all old people watch CNN. I think they're a lot smarter than that, they avoid that bullshit. Same with Fox News, thank God, because it makes you feel a lot better that there are less old people watching it, because it's not. I haven't watched it myself, and I plan on doing my own uh, Fox News stupid video of myself, but till then, and I'm not going to make any assessments of how stupid the show is. Just because I don't think it's right to judge something before you actually see it or know anything about it. Just a really good thing. Anyways, I guess the real question here at the end of this video is going to be what stereotypes bother you as a person? Regardless of age, regardless of anything going on in your life, what bothers you and why does why do you disagree with it? Also, I want to leave it on the note that it's, I believe in embracing your stereotypes. And, like I said earlier in the video, I embraced it. That KFC stereotype, because guess what? I like KFC. What you gonna do about it, asshole? Part of my language, but really, what are you gonna do about it? Anyways, I believe stereotypes exist, and we have to learn to deal with them, and that, you know, they don't define us, it's just something that's part of us. Can't help it, you know, I know black people like to eat spicy things, it's, but that doesn't mean I can't like spicy things because, oh, it's a stereotype. Okay. Most people don't look at it as a stereotype anymore, or at least it's an acceptable one. Because it's not like they can do that. Huh. Anyways, please comment down below, follow me on Tumblr, Twitter, and subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and have a good night. Hey.